Do you know that your back uh, porch light might influence your flowers and your beautiful chrysanthemums, which you planted in spring, took care after the whole year and wanted them to bloom around your porch during this time of the year, the October where all the garden is coming down and your chrysanthemums would carry the show and suddenly they refuse to bloom. Why is that? Well, our plants do not have watches, but they rely on a very interesting phenomenon called photoperiodism. To know when to set seeds, to know when to wake up, when to bloom and when to go to sleep, to go into dormant season. So let's talk about this phenomena, photoperiodism. And this is number second video in the 10 video series on 10 rules plants never break. Well, plants don't break that rule, but we humans, we do like to break rules. And most of the rule breaking is happening with photoperiodism in all our greenhouses. Olga Kramedy with you, Master Gardener from Connecticut. Let's begin. What is photoperiodism? Well, it is the sensitivity to plants uh, to the amount of daylight and amount of nightlight. At, at the beginning, the scientists were thinking that it is the amount of daylight which plants are the most sensitive to, but it's actually the amount of night. And uh, depending how, much how long the night is, plants will know when to bloom, when to go to sleep, when to wake up and when to set seeds. So they will know how to behave according to the ratio of day and night. Why do they do that? Why don't they rely on weather like we humans do? Well, weather can be so unpredictable, right? We can have very uh, rainy March or very warm March. And then again, we can have very cold October, uh, very dry October. So plants do not rely on weather. They very often, they do not rely on temperature. Although there are plants which are day neutral. Here is an ant on me. Um, where was I? Well, all the plants can be divided according to the photoperiodism can be divided into three groups short day plants long day plants and neutral plants short day plants uh, your chrysanthemums can be a good example of it uh, plants which need good amount of night uh, absence of light to produce flowers and to live well and of course we want from our plants in the garden flowers right so let's say you have your chrysanthemums planted at the back porch and I don't mean those forced chrysanthemums in our pots. I mean the ones which you care in the ground. And in the middle of the night you have insomnia or you want to breathe the fresh air and at 12 o'clock at night you come outside, you flip that light, the night light, you stay outside for several, for several minutes, that's all what it takes. And you go inside and guess what happened? That amount of light just for three minutes, two, three minutes, reset your chrysanthemums, broke down that long uninterrupted night and your chrysanthemums will not bloom for you. I love this garden adventure of mine here on YouTube. Who would think so? Me being the introvert? <laughs> well, but majority of people who are watching my videos, around 70%, they're not subscribed. So please do check your subscription. And if you like my videos, please do me a favor and subscribe and be on this gardening journey with me together. Hmm. Follow this Ukrainian girl living in Connecticut, Zone 7A, uh, the United States. Well, I thank you for that. The same happens with uh, poinsettias, our beautiful Christmas flower, uh, which are a very good example of short day uh, plants. So my neighbor actually grows poinsettias very successfully in her, uh, inside her house through many years, the same plant. And why are those uh, poinsettias are turning red for her before Christmas? Because she's very good at going to bed at uh, 7, 8 at night, she's an older lady, and she doesn't go downstairs all the way late in the morning. So her poinsettias, which need uh, the long duration of the night, uninterrupted night light, is happy to turn uh, red color for Christmas. 
and um, that's why I think uh, why poinsettias are not popular as house plants. The same with chrysanthemums as garden plants, because if they refuse to bloom for us in the fall, the gardens get frustrated. And now we have the fashion, uh, the garden fashion, to introduce a lot of lights in the garden. And I understand it's very interesting. It uh, adds to the uh, party atmosphere, to the cozy atmosphere of the garden. If we have guests or we want to spend time in the garden, in the garden at night, those night lights are, are nice, but they interfere with some plants. But there are plants, and roses fall into this category, they are neutral. They depend on our care, they depend on trimming, they depend on the temperature of the year and maturity of the development, the stage of the development, and that's when they're going to bloom. So why do we have those beautiful roses in the middle of May when, we, when gardeners are going to the nurseries and they are so sensitive to all those beautiful blooms and they're ready to buy everything in bloom and not ready to buy uh, plants which are not in bloom? And here we are, we have beautiful hydrangeas blooming, roses are blooming, well, because they are forced. And the mop head hydrangeas are not true uh, short um, uh, day plants. They are manipulated by temperatures, they're sensitive to temperature, and they are forced by temperature in greenhouses. The same with roses. They are, um, the temperatures are lowered right after uh, fall blooming, so they go into this artificial uh, winter with cold temperatures and then they are woken up by hot temperatures earlier than let's say in Connecticut here in May, uh, April and they're ready to bloom in May let's say or even April. So that's how humans uh, play with uh, photoperiodism successfully uh, or with the temperature to manipulate plants. But if you are familiar with this uh, phenomena in the garden you would know how to grow uh, short um, uh, day plants and not disturb them with the help of lights in the garden. It's an interesting uh, topic, right? Photoperiodism. Not many gardeners know it, but it is, it is important to know, especially when we are trying to grow short uh, day plants and we have night lights in the garden, we disturb those, pla those plants and we get frustrated because there are no blooms or our plants refuse to behave according to the season. Well, my dear gardeners, be well. I will see you in our next video and happy gardening as always.